Hey guys, Sam7 here, and we're gonna get this Josephine Alps race going. Here we go, green flag. Let's see what's going on in the start. Luke gets a huge second gear, and then that mid pack is just gonna shake everything up because of that. Looks like Camby and Vermin in an early battle for third and fourth. And they're still battling. Luke's gonna go wide and sweep to the inside. This is a huge move here because he's gonna get the big run and he's gonna pass both of them, Camby and Vermin. So Luke's gonna get back into third from fifth. And then the lead we have, it looks like Mustang at the moment. And Apathy's in second, lurking for that lead. Let's see what he can do for it. Looks like he's gonna he's gonna battle on the outside and he might even pass him around the outside right there. It looks like he passes Mustang around the outside. Luke's gonna use that momentum and he's also gonna get on the inside of Mustang. He's going to pass Mustang, and then down into that last corner sweeper, he's going to pass Apathy. So Luke's going to get back into first after falling down to fifth. He's already back into first at the end of the first lap. So now let's go through the pack and look at some of the other battles we have there. We have Mustang and Camby battling for third. Vermin lurking right there in fifth. Really tight pack racing at the moment in this early part of the race. Here coming down the hill we have Camby and uh, looks like Mustang battling right there. And then there we have Slaunch, Cookie, and Zero battling. Still a pretty tight pack. Zero holding on to that position. Looks like Slaunch is going to try to pass Zero. Oh, he gets a huge, pops a huge two wheel on Zero. And Decoy might even try to pass Zero at this point, but Cookie and Slaunch just got by him. Partially because of that huge hit which was just amazing. It gave them a huge run to, to get by Zero. Here we're watching Camby again, lurking for third. Looks like he might be able to, yeah, he's definitely gonna try to make a move right there. He had a big run. So he's gonna try to make a move on Mustang. This is exactly where Apathy, and exactly how Apathy passed him. And it looks like Camby will be able to do the exact same thing. And he gets by him for podium position. Whoa, decoy going on top of Zero. Cookie somehow had gotten behind Zero at this point, and he, he ends up flipping there, chasing Decoy and Zero. So this is just craziness in the back of the pack. Not sure how <laughs> this is happening, but just absolute mayhem going on. Whoa! Mustang gets super loose. Him and Vermin battling for that position. Now Slaunch is going to take that opportunity, and he's going to pass Vermin. Now he's going to start working on Mustang. Mustang goes way wide. He goes back to the inside to try to protect it, gets Slaunch into the rocks, gets him into the rocks yet again, and that's going to spin Slaunch out. And Vermin not going to be able to, nope, Vermin's not going to be able to use that to pass him. I thought he might have had a, a big enough run to try to get another pass back on him, but not able to. Here we have a little update on Cookie. Uh, one of the fastest drivers on this track. He's actually your previous season winner at this track. He won the race here in last season. Had to start from the back in this one, and he's and work his way through zero and that is just a recipe for disaster as you can see right there this is how cookie passes him actually he recovers quicker and and ends up passing him there so that is actually huge for cookie because uh, he's going to try to salvage any position he can because his race has kind of gotten cheesed at this point so he's just going to try to salvage whatever he can get so i'm just going to pull a crossover on the jump and it looks like he's going to be able to clear mustang even before the passing corner of the track you see 80% of the passes go down on that corner like literally 80% just about everything happens there looks like we see cookie pass decoy and now he's gonna work on vermin so cookie definitely trying to get some whoa he comes off the rock takes out vermin Jeez, cookie really wants to get as many salvage positions as he can good for him trying to battle back into this points he missed the first week so he's trying to do as much as he can to get his self back into that points battle. He wants to finish in that top five. Top five at the end of the season will make their way into an invitational event where they battle for an even bigger prize than the season trophy. So top five in points is definitely what everybody's shooting for. First of the season's good, but top five will be great for that invitational. Here we have Sanch caught up to Camby and Apathy. Looks like he's going to go in the main passing corner and pass Camby there. Completes the pass Right there, Cammy goes extremely wide. Now he's gonna try to work on apathy most likely. Do a little long pan out of that shot to give you guys an update on the gaps and positions. And here's another shot to give you an update on the position. So here's showing how big of a lead Luke has. That's him passing by right there. And now we have second place coming into the shot. Battle between Slaunch and Apathy. 
So I'm just gonna do a little slide job on the inside. Gets Apathy a little too wheelie and it's gonna take that pass. And then here we have a couple laps later, Camby battling with Apathy. Camby's gonna pass Apathy right there, so Camby gets his podium position back. Camby has not finished on the podium yet this season. So he's definitely gonna try extremely hard to hold on to that spot. Now here we have Luke just takes the white flag, giving you an idea of the gap between first and second right there. It is just an insane gap at this point. Luke took the advantage of getting that first lap lead and gained as much as he possibly could while second, third, fourth, fifth, basically every position behind him had super hard battles and you can see that that's amounted to an absolutely huge lead. So all he has to do is hit his marks and he should be able to come out to a pretty easy win here. Or a pretty easy final lap, rather. Making his way through the final corners. It's that one a little rough, but it's not going to make much of a difference. Luke's going to take the win, and here we're going to go back to an update on our Camby and Apathy battle. Apathy's going to make a move on the inside. Camby went wide. Apathy completes the pass right in that corner, completely passes him. Now let's see if he can hold on to it. This sucks for Camby. He's trying to get his first podium of the season. Apathy might have just snuck by and got it. Camby has a run, though. Can he do it? Coming to the line, it looks like Apathy's going to hold on to that position. In that photo finish battle between Apathy and Camby on the, uh, on the final lap, that was insane. And then there you have the rest of the finishing order popping up on the screen. Just Here's another angle of it. Absolutely crazy photo finish right there between Camby and Apathy. Unfortunate for Camby, although it, it is still his best feature finish of the season. Hope you guys enjoyed that race, and I'll see you guys for the next one.